Good afternoon. Thanks for joining with us again. Last week, Fraser began our new series, Understanding the Bible. When he spoke on this subject, Can We Trust the Bible? Now, over the next number of weeks, we're going to consider different events in the Old Testament part of the Bible and the lessons that we could learn from them. Today, I want to start by thinking about creation, the beginning. You'll see the earth behind me here. Now, I want to consider creation under four headings. Our first heading is a case for creation. I want you to take you to the first verse in the Bible. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Verse 16 tells us, He made the stars also. The psalmist would tell us, The planets, the stars, are the work of his hands. Work of his fingers, even. Now, you might say, what is it? What is the evidence for this? Well, as Fraser was telling us last week, scientists now agree that this universe of ours has a beginning. There's a consensus that this universe has a beginning. Now, that's now keeping with the Bible. Now, what I submit to you this afternoon, that evidence is the order in it all. Every year, the Earth orbits the Sun. Every month, the Moon orbits the Earth. If we look at nature all around us, there's an order to it all. We have the seasons, we've got day and night without fail. It's not random. There is an order. Now, where there's an order, that suggests design. And where there's design, that suggests a designer. That, that brings me on to my next point. A case for a creator. Now, the Bible tells us that in six days, God created the heavens and the earth, our whole universe, but on the seventh day, he rested. But on the sixth day, he created the animals. But separately to the animals, he created mankind, man and woman. Created an image of God. Now, God is tripartite. Three persons, one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We are tripartite. We are body, soul, and spirit. This soul of ours will live forever. After we die, we'll either go to heaven or hell, but the soul will still be there. It will still exist. The soul lives forever. Now, when we consider that, if we have a creator, a designer, we're accountable to that designer, that creator. The Bible tells us that one day we'll stand before God as either a judge or as our saviour. We'll think more about him as our saviour soon, as we go through this video, and we've heard in previous videos as well. So I want to bring you to a verse that's found in Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 1, and it says, Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, but now shall say, I had no pleasure in them. So remember now thy creator. So we've got an opportunity now on this earth. And now is the accepted time to accept Christ as our saviour, Lord Jesus as our saviour. We don't know if we'll have another opportunity, but today we have that opportunity. Now, we'll think now, of our next point, which is a case for Christ. Now, we've read that God created the world, Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. But actually, in John chapter 1, verse 1, the New Testament part of the Bible, it tells us, in the beginning was the Word. It's talking about the Lord Jesus. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. And it tells us all things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. So we have God the Son, the Lord Jesus, he created the world. Because he's our creator, he's sinless. Because he's God, he's sinless. And he came as a man and he lived a perfect life so he could die for our sins on the cross. Is that not amazing? John chapter 3 verse 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. And whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have 
everlasting life. So this brings me on to my last point, a case for conversion. Acts chapter 3, verse 19 says, Repent ye, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. So what do we need to do to be reconciled to God, to be reconciled to our Creator? We need to repent of our sins. We heard all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. This is what's separating us from our, our Creator, our God. But if we repent, then we're changed, we're converted, we're born again. Is that not amazing? And we have a power to live a different life. It's not about doing good works. Good works can never justify us in the sight of God. It can never make us right. We're going to fall short. But if we come in faith and put our faith in the Lord Jesus, we can have our sins forgiven. We can be converted, changed on the inside. The Holy Spirit comes to live in us. And we'll have that power to live a different life. Now, thanks very much for listening today to this, to this message on creation. And we'll be back next week with another, another video when we consider another event from the Old Testament part of the Bible. Thank you.